hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through a 20 minute Pilates style core workout. So we're going to be working the core from all angles. It's going to be intense but we're going to get it done. Um, you don't need any equipment, you just need a mat um, and some water and a towel if you want and we will get straight into it. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Okay, let's get started. So we're just going to start in a tabletop position here. I want you to keep super parallel with your arms, so your shoulders are in line with your core, your hip width apart with your knees, a really strong tabletop position here. Now what I want you to do is a few cat cows just to start to mobilize your spine. So you're going to arch your back and look up, inhale, and exhale, push into the floor, spreading your shoulder blades apart, and again, inhale, arching your back, and exhale, pushing into the floor. One more time, we're gonna inhale, arch, and exhale, point cave. Okay, curling those toes under, we're just gonna take it into a downward dog here. Now just do a little scan of your body, See where you feel any tension and just try to breathe into that stretch, releasing your head down, nodding yes, shaking no, just loosening up here, pushing through your heels to feel that stretch all the way up the back of your legs. Okay, from here, we're going to come into a plank position here, start to activate that core, belly button is tucked in towards your spine. Breathe there for a second, inhale and exhale, good, take it back to a downward dog. Okay, let's go again back to that plank, activating that core, inhale and exhale, good, back to your downward dog. We're going to go a couple more times, back to your plank, inhale, exhale, Back to your plank, and one more time, down dog, inhale, exhale, okay, lower your knees down, back to our tabletop position, we're going to do a little bit more activation work here, so what I want you to think about now is your cat cows, okay, so we are overarching our back, and then pushing towards the floor, what I want you to do is find a nice medium in between, so you're not arching your back, letting your belly drop to the floor. You're not completely sucking in and spreading your shoulder blades apart. Your shoulders are rolled back, your belly button is sucked into your spine. Squeeze those abs. Okay, we're gonna to inhale to prepare and exhale. Lift those knees just a couple of inches off the ground and then back down. You should feel your core activating as you lift your knees up. So in control, let's go again. Lift, exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Good, and again, exhale, lift, and inhale, lower. Couple more times there, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. One more time, just here, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Okay, option to keep going with just the lifts and lowers, or you can add a little bit of a challenge with me. We're gonna come up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, and then, back down okay let's go come up shoulder tap and back down keep it going here what i really want you to concentrate on is keeping your hips super parallel to the ground minimal movement with your body you're really working your core here let's go for four more reps good for three Extend one leg out and then bring it back in. And then the other leg out and back in. Good, control the movement, let's go. Good. Exhale as you push that leg out. We're on four, we're going to eight. Well done, five. Keep it there, your core might be shaking, it's a good thing, six. Well done, seven. And eight, okay, 
take it into a downward dog. Nice work, guys. Ooh. Okay, your core should be activated. Come back down to that tabletop position. We're now gonna go for a little bit of plank work. So if you want to modify, you can keep on your knees here, but you're just gonna make sure that you're dropping your hips down so you're one straight line from your knees to your shoulders. If not, we're gonna do a full plank with me and we're gonna go for those shoulder taps like we did in the bear crawl. We're doing it in a plank now. So opposite shoulders to hand. Let's go, just keep it going now, find that control. Keeping those hips parallel to the ground, really try not to twist here. Good. Let's go for four more, four, three, two, one, hold that plank, okay. Option to keep going with those shoulder taps, or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you're gonna add in some leg raises with me. So we're gonna go tap, tap, back, and back. Let's go, tap, tap, back, back. Good, tap, tap, back, back. For four. Good, three. Nice, two. And one. Okay, bring it down. Back into a child's pose, stretch your shoulders out. Nice job, guys. Woo. That was a burner. Okay, we are coming into a low plank now. Option to stay on your knees or hold that high plank with me. I know you can do it. What we're gonna do here is a little leg pull. So, just lifting up your left leg and then your right leg. Keep it going up, down, up, down. Just a tiny movement. Find your control. Nice job, breathing through it. Well done, for four. Good, three, in two, and one. Hold that plank, so let it drop for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, lower those knees down. Back to your child's pose. Oh, goodness. Okay, guys, we are done with our little plank series. What you're going to do now is come down to lie on your belly and just roll over to the side. We're going to go for some oblique work here. So, starting just lie on your side, your legs are stacked on top of each other, your head is resting on your hand, your right hand is in front of you for support. You're just going to lift both of your legs up and then back down. What I really want you to think about here is squeezing your oblique on your right side as you lift. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Let's go. Good, find that control. It's not a huge movement, but it is a burner. Good, for four, three, two, and one, hold it up, tiny pulses at the top. Nice, three, two, one, okay. Coming up onto your forearm. Option here to do a modified side plank. Your bottom leg is going to be bent, top leg straight, and you're coming up and down like this. Or if you want the challenge with me, stack both feet on top of each other, and we're gonna go for side plank dips. So inhale down, exhale up. Good. Inhale down, exhale up, keep it going. Good, let's go for 10 more. 10, 9, 8, you got it. 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3, 2, 1. Okay, bring it down, rest for a second. We're coming up onto our hands now. We're just going higher and higher there. So again, option to keep this leg drop down. You're gonna be coming up and down here for a side oblique crunch or stack both feet on top of each other like me. And we're gonna come up and down, up and down. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, nearly there, three, two, one. Okay, lower it down. Nice job, guys. All right, 
last little bit of work on this side for your oblique. We're going to come onto our forearm here, again lying back down. What you're going to do is roll onto your side and come up to tap your toes and then bring it back down to here. If you can't keep your legs straight, that is fine. You can have a little bend, try and keep them as straight as possible. Okay, we're going to go for 10 reps here. Roll back, 10. Good. Nine. Eight. Seven. Keep that control. Six. Five. Four. You've got three. Two. And one. Okay. Nice job. That oblique is done. Just come up to seated. We're just going to stretch that out. So coming over to the side. Nice little side bend. And then over to the other side. Ooh, okay, swing it round onto your bum but in the middle. We're going to do some ab work. So, just lying on your back, make sure that you're sinking your lower back into the ground, tucking your pelvis under, keeping your core engaged. We're going to bring our legs up to tabletop position here, and we're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale, crunch up. Inhale back down, exhale, crunch up. Keep it going. Good. Control the movement. Chin is tucked in towards your chest. Don't worry about that double chin. <laughs> That's what we want. Good. For two, one option to keep it going here, or you're going to lower one leg down with me. So we go crunch, crunch. Good. Up and up. Good, for three, two, and one. Okay, last one. Both legs up in the air and we crunch up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hug those knees in. Get that little rest. Okay, guys, bringing those knees down, those feet down to the ground. We're going to go for some penguin taps. So again, you're curling your head and shoulders off the floor, really getting into our obliques here. You're going to bend to the side to reach for your toe and then over to the other side. Let's keep that going. If you're finding it difficult with your head and shoulders lifted, just lower them down to the floor and do the same thing. You want to make it more intense, move your feet outwards so you're getting a bigger range of motion. Let's go for four. Three, two, and one. Okay, hold it up. Crunching up here, last little bit. Good, five, three, two, one. Let it rest, hug your knees in. Okay, guys. We are getting closer to the end here, extending those legs straight out. Option to just stay lying down with your hands underneath your bum. If you're looking for a little bit more ab engagement, a little bit more of a challenge, you're going to come up to here with me. So, we're going to go for some butterflies. What I want you to make sure is your shoulders are rolled back and down. Lift your legs up off the ground, pelvis is tucked under, and you're going to go in and out. Let's go for 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, one, keep them lifted. We're going for circle all the way around and back. Control the movement. Good, five more. Nice, four, three. Try and keep those legs straight, two, and one. Okay, reverse direction for eight. You got this. Good, five, four, don't give up on me now. Three, two, and one. Okay, come to lie down. Nice work, guys. Whew, okay, just giving your spine a little massage. We're just gonna roll up and then all the way back down. Roll up and then all the way back down on the next one. Bring it up to seated. 
and over onto your front. Okay, now just coming onto the right side, we are getting into those obliques on the right now. We've got to even it out. So, lying on your right, feet are together. You're going to come up and back down. Let's go lift and lower, lift and lower. Good. Exhale for lift, inhale back down. Good. For four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Tiny pulses here. Three, two, one. Okay. Bringing it down. Coming up onto your forearm. Option here to stay on your knee for these side plank dips. Or you can come into the full side plank dip with me. We're just going to come up and down for 20. Let's go. Good, for 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, bringing it up again, higher and higher. So again, option here to keep that knee dropped down, or you're going to come all the way up with me, and we're going to go for 10. Good, 6, 4, 3, 2, one, okay, rest it down. Coming onto your side here. Last time, we're just gonna go for those toe taps. So, rolling back onto your glutes and tapping your toes. We're going for 10 in three, two, one. Let's go. Good, seven in six, five, Four, you got it. Three, two, and one. Okay, rest it down, come up to seated, and let's go for that little stretch. So over to the side, and then to the other side. Okay, right, right guys, we have got a little finisher, and then we are all done. Don't hate me or thank me in about a minute. We're gonna finish with some bare feet. So we're gonna start with a modified version. You're gonna start in this plank position, do it with me, lower yourself all the way down to the ground, and then back up. Step in and reach up for the sky. Come back down, all the way down to the ground, reach up for the sky. Good, keep it going. If you need to modify, drop your knees down for the push up, come up and reach up for the sky. Okay, now if you want to on the next one, we're going to add a jump in. So jump in and up and then back down. Jump out all the way down, in and up. Right, we've got 10 more reps guys and then we are all done for 10. Good, nine. In eight, keep it going with me. Seven. Six. We got this final five. Four. Last three. Two. And one. Oh my goodness. Okay. We are all done. Take it back into a child pose and take some deep breaths. Yeah, just appreciate all that hard work you just did. Ooh, okay, now hinging your hips, bring it back into a downward dog. We're gonna go for a nice stretch now. Good, you can pedal between your feet if it feels good for you. Just pushing one heel down to the ground and then the other. Good, and from here, Bring into a cobra. If you don't have much mobility in your lower spine, then you're just going to lower down to your forearms for the stretch. Good, and then tuck your toes under. Take it back into a downward dog.
Nice guys, we're gonna lunge that right foot all the way forward to your hand and then just to open your chest out to the side. Good, just breathe into the stretch. Okay, on the other side, bending that foot back. Nice, okay, bring it back into your plank position, drop your knees down and just finish in your child's pose one more time. Okay, and rolling up from here, you're all done. Thank you so much for joining, please do remember to like and subscribe if you want more content like this. Have a lovely day, I will see you next time, bye!